Centuries ago, we were governed by kings and queens and the people they appointed. And it was a long fight to get what was called then responsible government. We call it democracy now. People are elected and the elected people do the governing. Until now, look at the stories in the news. Just the other day, it was confirmed that the RCMP sent to financial institutions the names and addresses and all the information about people who were in the convoy. Who asked the RCMP to do that? Probably the politicians. Certainly wasn't the police themselves who would have done that. What was happening with that? We don't know, but we know that a lot of accounts were frozen. And then, just the other day again, 33,000 phones were infiltrated by the Canadian Border Services for people crossing the border. Not just about some information, but the whole thing. Where did the information go? Well, it went to Ottawa. You'd be darn sure it wasn't erased. We are in a country where it seems that things are going tremendously awry. It's not responsible government. The Minister of Revenue the other day said that she was not aware of any of the deals that her officials had made with either people or corporations who owed taxes and they get some sweetheart deal. She says she's not supposed to know, and that was fine years ago. But now we need some political direction. We know there's political direction when some politicians, and I know this for a fact, and their staffs go to officials in CRA and ask them to nail somebody to the full extent of the law, and that happens. So, on one hand, we have a politician responsible for CRA saying, I don't know anything about this, and other politicians are going in there and they're doing wrong things, bad things. So, and if you think the Minister of Justice is going to have any hope for you, think again. He, the other day, in testifying before a House committee, said that, oh, drug dealers, they are just trying to put a little bread on the table for their families. <laughs> it was absolutely incredible. Don't make them go to jail. Don't give them criminal trials. As I said, you can't make this up. They're just trying to put bread on the table. So that's the Minister of Justice. We have, of course, then the Prime Minister who skirts Parliament whenever he can. We have serious problems in this country, problems that 50 or 60 years ago, when we had more responsible government that people had fought for for centuries, that would be solved. Now, we don't know. But let's pay attention to what the issues are. Let's pay attention to what our politicians are doing. And let's pay attention to having some more responsible government, responsible to the people, not to the politicians themselves. Pierre Polyev is a game changer. Our politics are changing. We need to look at all the issues and have an analysis of them. If you agree with that, press PayPal because we need to stay on the air and also subscribe. Help us stay on the air. Chief producer, he's going to be a father soon. We need the dough.